This presentation is an analysis of African-American author James Baldwin's short story, Sonny's Blues. The setting of Sonny's Blues, 1950s Harlem, New York City, plays an integral role in understanding the story. The poverty, violence, and danger surrounding the housing projects where the narrator lives, even as a high school teacher, reveals the difficulties that African-Americans living in an inner-city ghetto must endure to, for survival. The obstacles both Sonny and his brother must face living in this inner-city ghetto were created by decades of racial discrimination against African-Americans through segregation, substandard education, low-wage jobs, unemployment, and the infiltration of drugs and crimes into the neighborhood. The story is filled with the descriptions of anger, abuse, darkness, and hopelessness in this neighborhood where crime, prostitution, drug use, homelessness, and hopelessness are the norm. These factors play a role in why Sonny ends up using and selling heroin and going to jail. His struggles also contribute to his ability to create jazz music, however, which connects him to others who also suffer as a result of the negative environment. The two main characters in the story are the narrator and his brother Sonny. The narrator is in many ways the opposite of Sonny, although both have been brought up in a similar environment and both served in the military. The narrator escapes the negative environment of Harlem through education and becoming a teacher. He has not totally escaped, though, as he still lives in the projects of Harlem after becoming a teacher and is still surrounded by the hopelessness and despair of the ghetto. He is judgmental of his brother Sonny and has learned to cope with hardship by being logical and not succumbing to his emotions. He often seems cold, such as when he reacts with detachment to his own daughter's death from polio as a two-year-old and yet at times he shows emotion, such as when he alternates between anger and sympathy towards Sonny's friend, who comes by to tell him that Sonny is in jail, and towards Sonny, whom he finally seems to understand at least a little bit at the end of the story when he sees him perform in the jazz club. Unlike his brother, Sonny copes with discrimination and the despair of life in the ghetto through using heroin, which he ends up selling and then ends up going to jail for. He also uses music to escape. Unlike his brother, Sonny is very emotional and can connect with others on a deeply empathetic and emotional level. He shows this when he performs in the jazz club. Ironically, the jazz music is a constructive expression of his despair, but could not be created without his first experiencing suffering through using heroin. Unfortunately, he will be around the heroin culture if he continues to perform in the jazz clubs. Johnny Sonny is described as a Christ-like figure because he sympathizes so deeply with others' pain and seems to almost share their sorrow when he performs. He suffers deeply throughout the story, but through his suffering he is able to produce jazz music, which offers a temporary salvation or relief to those who listen to his music. His brother notices that although he considers Sonny a failure, when Sonny is performing, he is highly respected and even idolized as a musician. The last line of the story describing Sonny's drink as the very cup of trembling is a biblical allusion to the passage in Isaiah about how the people of Jerusalem drank the cup of trembling that God gives them to show his forgiveness for initially, for initially angering him. Most see this ending as suggesting that Sonny will be forgiven by God for his addiction and the hurt he has caused others, perhaps because of his ability to sympathize with others, such as when he writes a letter to his brother apologizing for not calling and expressing his sorrow over the loss of his daughter Grace, or the empathy he shows towards the suffering of others that is expressed through his jazz or blues. The external conflict between the narrator, who judges and does not accept Sonny for who he is, and Sonny, who struggles to survive in the ghetto, helps reveal the negative impact and destruction of lives for African Americans as a result of racism. The author's tone is sympathetic. Although he does not condone drug use or other destructive forms of escape, he helps the reader see why many turn to drugs in the inner city as a form of escape. Jazz music is depicted as a positive method of using one's suffering to connect with others and temporarily escape. The story also promotes the necessity of understanding and connecting with each other rather than isolating or alienating, alienating oneself from others. The conflict is never fully resolved, but does suggest hope for the future resolution, 
when the author begins to view his brother Sonny with sympathy and understanding when he sees him perform in the jazz club at the end of the story. Two predominant themes in the story are coping with or escaping racial discrimination and looking out for one's brother. Sonny shows the negative impact of the destructive environment of the Harlem ghetto and how it destroys young African-American men who have few options and are brought up surrounded by violent crime, drug use, and hopelessness. Sonny becomes a heroin addict and a drug dealer and ends up in jail. His brother fares better by using his education to become a school teacher. However, he becomes bitter and judgmental towards his brother and others like him and is discouraged as he realizes that most of his students are likely to harden and end up like Sonny. The narrator and Sonny's mother acts as a caregiver and tells Sonny's brother to look out for and care for Sonny after she dies when she tells him the story of how their father's brother was run over by a carload of drunk white boys who did not even stop the car afterwards and how she has had to help him stay strong. She tells Sonny's brother to be his brother's keeper when she tells him, you got to hold on to your brother and don't let him fall, no matter what it looks like is happening to him, and no matter how evil you get you gets with him. However, the narrator does not look out for Sonny until after his own daughter dies. He then becomes his brother's keeper, somewhat reluctantly, but at the very end of the story he seems to reach a new understanding and compassion towards Sonny. When he hears him perform as a mus musician and can see the connection his brother has with others and the way Sonny uses his past sorrows to help him create his music. The story is filled with images of lightness representing hope and darkness representing hopelessness. Darkness is described when the narrator says how his high school students were losing their innocence. They were filled with rage. All they really knew were two darknesses. The darkness of their lives, which was now closing in on them, and the darkness of the movies, which had blinded them to that other darkness. Another example is when he describes the oncoming coming of evening with, and when the light fills up the room, the child is filled with darkness. He knows that every time this happens, he, he's moved just a little closer to that darkness outside. The darkness outside is what the old folks have been talking about. It's what they've come from. It's what they endure. Light is described to show hope, as when the narrator describes Sonny's face as a child, as his face had been bright and open, there was a lot of copper in it. And when he listens to the music people play in the street, the narrator describes the coppery sun brought out the copper in his skin. He was very faintly smiling, revealing the joy Sonny finds through music. Also, the title makes reference to lightness and darkness, since Sonny sounds like Sonny with a U, and blues indicates a sadness or darkness within Sonny. Jazz music means something different to the narrator and to Sonny. The narrator likes the music of Louis Armstrong, which is mellow, controlled, and accepted by mainstream America. It is associated with the past. Sonny, however, likes the jazz music of Charlie Bird Parker, whose music was fast-paced, complex, emotional, and associated with drug use. Mainstream America did not accept this type of jazz in the 1950s, and the older generation called this type of jazz noise. The narrator's refusal to accept Sonny's dream of being this type of jazz musician shows the generation gap between the two brothers and the inability of them to connect and understand one another. This story can be considered postmodern in that it does not try to find meaning in life, but rather depicts life as chaotic, meaningless, and difficult. The story is fragmented, uses stream of consciousness, temporal distortion, meaning it's told out of linear order, and minimalism, meaning characters are ordinary. And the story lacks a completely admirable character. There is not one clear meaning or lesson in this story, but it does suggest several ideas on how to survive life's problems as well as pointing out some modern-day societal ills.